Camila Valieva landed the first quad in figure skating in the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics. But you might be wondering, what is the music that she was skating to? And in this video, we're going to be talking about just that, as well as some other classical music pieces that have been on display in the 2022 Winter Olympics. If you're a classical musician like me, you're probably playing Drop the Needle in the Olympic opening ceremony. There was definitely a little bit of Bach in that opening ceremony that I've played like a bazillion times in weddings and performances and whatnot. But in this video, we're gonna be talking about Camila Valieva, who is a 15 year old Russian figure skating prodigy and the music that she performed to. Believe it or not, this is a very famous piece of music written by Maurice Ravel, who is a French composer in the 20th century and the piece is called Bolero. And the reason why this is such a famous piece is because the piece was written right before Ravel retired from music, before his illness. It is super fitting that she chose Bolero because guess what? Bolero was commissioned as a ballet piece. So when Maurice Ravel was asked to compose a piece for ballet, he chose Bolero, he composed Bolero, but it wasn't anything like a crazy complicated process for him because he already had a connection with the Ballet Rouge, which was a ballet dance company in France in the 20th century. You also may know the Ballet Rouge if you're familiar with the ballet world with association with Igor Stravinsky and the Ballet Rouge because guess what? The Rite of Spring was commissioned by the Ballet Rouge. So I wanted to throw that little history knowledge at you right there. This is a very, very famous piece because all you're doing is repeating the same rhythm, the same melody for a very, very long time. As a matter of fact, there are orchestra auditions that demand the percussionist to play that even rhythm on, on the snare drum. Rimsky Korsakov's Scheherazade is also a huge percussion excerpt that is asked on almost, I would say in most orchestra auditions. The bolero that you heard on TV is not exactly the bolero that Maurice Ravel wrote. And my guess is that it was some kind of arrangement, so that way it'll be appealing to the audience, appealing to the judges for her performance. And it's a pretty historic performance because apparently I'm not, I'm not a figure skater, I'm only a musician, so that's why I'm talking about the music, but landing the quad in the air, I thought that was amazing. And I, I always find it really awesome and uh, great that the figure skaters are always matching in some way, shape, or form the, the, the musical climaxes of a particular piece. And they really incorporate those climaxes into their routine. It's important to note in this video that Ravel's Bolero is not that short of a piece. They only found an arrangement or they created an arrangement so that way it'll be useful for that particular competition. But if anyone who's familiar with Bolero, it starts out with a snare drum and then there's a gradual crescendo as different parts of the orchestra play the same melody and different harmonies, but that snare drum is playing nonstop. And as uh, a member of the percussion section, they have the most important role because they have to maintain the entire tempo throughout the entirety of the piece. Bach and Vivaldi, those composers tend to recycle a lot of their material, but Maurice Ravel wanted to make sure that each piece that he composed has an identity of its own. So with Ravel, you don't find that much musical material that is recycled. Now you might be wondering, well, Ravel is a French composer, but it doesn't sound French. Well, because Bolero, I mean, even the title is not French. Bolero was inspired by Spanish idioms based on one single idea that gradually transforms, as I mentioned earlier in the video, about adding different layers and layers and layers until finally you get this massive, huge orchestra playing this melody. If you're interested in learning more about Ravel's Bolero, I'm actually going to leave a YouTube link to one of my favorite recordings, actually a pretty famous recording, that you can listen to in its entirety. And it may surprise you if you're not a classical musician. The last time we heard the Bolero being performed in the figure skating competition was in 1984 in the Sarajevo Olympics. And that happened in 1984. Now, 
skip many, many years later, in 2022, we had Bolero again. It isn't uncommon for figure skaters to use classical music pieces in their routines. With Camila Valieva, it is Ravel's Bolero. And just recently, Yuzuru Hanyu used Saint Sans' introduction to Rondo Capriccioso. But again, there wasn't the Rondo Capriccioso that we are all familiar with as classical musicians. Typically, it's written for violin and piano, violin orchestra, but in this case, he used only piano. But the melody is the same, the chords and the harmonies are the same, but that is what I found fascinating that they didn't use a violin for that performance as well. Even though there's like a huge technical component to the figure skating, do you feel like music also plays a huge role in the in the competition. I want to know your thoughts. And if you're watching this, my name is Eric. I'm a violinist. I do a lot of music related content, violin news, violin tutorials, etc. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. So that way you get notified for when these kinds of videos come out. It helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. Be sure to stick around to watch other violin news that I have right over here. So that way you can watch. Thanks again. And I'll see you in the next video.